Hey YouTube, Steven the Salon Guy here and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about how to start a YouTube channel. Now this is probably the number one thing I get asked anytime I go out somewhere, I go to an event and you know I want to talk to people, they all come up to me and say, how do I start a YouTube channel? Or I want to do this and I got to start YouTube. It's like everybody wants to do it. So if you're watching this video, uh, let me know in the comments below if you do want to start a YouTube channel and if you do find this video helpful. And I'm gonna break this down, you know, I'm not gonna do a 20 minute video, but I'm gonna break down some of the key steps that I think you need to know before you even start a YouTube channel. So I always tell people there's really three key things that you need to know. What, how, and why. So first of all, why? Let's start with that one. Why do you wanna start a YouTube channel? That is probably the biggest question you have to ask yourself. Because I hear people all the time telling me, oh, I wanna, film myself, you know, um, walking in the park or want to film myself feeding my cat. I'm like, that's cool, but like, do other people want to see that? So really understand and tell yourself, why do you want to start a YouTube channel? And if you're unsure, think about what your niche really, really is and what it is you want to be known for. Like, what do you want people to get from watching your videos? There has to be some takeaway from it. You know, like me, I do hair tutorials and I've been doing it for a long time. And then I even started expanding my content to interviews and things like that. But you know, for me, it's more of like technical educational stuff. So think whatever your niche is, whatever it is you're really passionate and knowledgeable about, then that is you know, something that you can share with people. So why do you wanna share it with people? A lot of times you think, oh, I wanna make money on YouTube and you, everybody jumps to the conclusion that if they become a YouTuber, they're gonna make big money. That's really not the case. And I hate to break it to you guys, but like, you know, there's videos that you can get five, 6,000 views on and make like $5. I'm just being like realistic. So don't do it for the money. Think of it as a way to build your brand and just a way to share information. The next thing is what? Like, what are you going to be doing uh, for your content? It kind of falls back into why, but like, what are you gonna be making, you know, in your videos? Like, what is the topic of the video? Very, very important. And then lastly is like, how are you going to do this? And that really goes into a lot more uh, factors because how much time are you gonna commit to making YouTube videos? What type of equipment are you going to use? You know, like what is your whole process of doing your stuff? Like where are you gonna film them? Uh, you know, how long your videos are gonna be? Like what type of cameras do you have? Do you have a good computer for editing? Like all these things have to really play into the ultimate goal of like, why do you wanna have a YouTube channel? Why do you wanna be a YouTube content creator? You know, and, and there's a lot of factors that really you need to understand right before you even start doing this. Cause you can invest a lot of time and not have the right strategies. And I'd hate to see someone, you know, who has got a lot of passion, put all this time into trying to become a YouTube content creator and then it just doesn't go anywhere. And it's, I hate to say to say this, but like I see a lot of talented people making awesome content and it's just, there's not a lot of views, not a lot of action. And it could come down to, you know, the titles of your videos, the description, the tags. There's like a lot involved with becoming a real solid content creator. A lot of things and steps you need to apply to become more successful. So, you know, I just wanna kind of change gears real quick and actually show you some of the gear that I have because when you think about how you're going to do it, you gotta have a proper setup. And like, not everyone's gonna have a studio like the Salon Guy Studios, but at the same time, like, you need to, come up with a place where you can film your content. If you're gonna do stuff that's gonna be about nature or stuff and you can you know, find places to film in and a lot of outdoor stuff, that's really, really great too. If you're gonna do makeup tutorials or hair tutorials, make sure you're doing it where you have really proper lighting and you can really make the best and of your content and you look the best too. So whatever it is, whatever topic you're focused on, make sure that the background and the environment is gonna reflect on the topic. So I just wanna show you guys um, some different examples of gear that I use. Now again, you don't have to go you know, this intense with what you buy because it's very, very expensive, but you can easily do great content even on your iPhone. I'd say a large majority of you have heard of the camera, a DSLR, <laughs> which everybody pretty much is either using that to shoot with or uh, you've heard of it. So basically a DSLR is like a camera like this that basically allows you to take photographs and shoot video. Now this is a GH4. Uh, I know the GH5 is out, but this was a workhorse camera for me. And I would suggest getting a DSLR if it's something that you don't have like a huge amount of money, but you want something that's gonna shoot, you know, great video content. You can even shoot like 4K on a lot of these cameras. 
But if you have a budget of anywhere between like $800 to say $1,500 to invest into a camera, I would suggest doing that and getting a DSLR. And this, the GH4 is still an amazing camera. I think now brand new, a, D, a GH4 is like, I think like $700 if that. But keep in mind, you have to also get a lens too. So this is a detachable lens, which that's another investment too. So a lens like this could cost anywhere from like, you know, $700 to $1,200. I mean, lenses can be very, very expensive. But think about the gear that you want to film with before you even actually start filming. So I just wanna show you uh, my background here. This is where I film all my videos for the most part. Um, sometimes I'll change gears and I'll film different places, but I've got some lighting in through here. As you can see, uh, these LED lights are what really lights up the backdrop here. I actually have two more that are facing me. So I'm really trying to create a lot of light that's coming in here. So lighting is very, very important. A lot of people use ring lights. You know, that's obviously a big thing. So just make sure you're well lit when you're filming your videos. And if you're outside, that's, you know, really easy to film. You just gotta make sure that the, uh, it's not blown out or too bright. You just gotta make some uh, camera adjustments. Now here is a beautiful piece of camera gear. This is the Canon C100 Mark II. I have two of these. There is uh, another camera from Canon that is, you know, a lot of cameras better than this in the, you know, C series. And I just like this camera. Um, I think it shoots, it's great for what it does. You know, it's a real video camera. This lens is a, is a monster lens. Again, I have two of these cameras. I'm just showing you what this one looks like, but this is a, uh, a really, really great camera to work with. Uh, you don't have to go this route or this expensive, but I do work with this camera because I do work with a lot of companies and brands and I need something that is gonna just be able to have better performance to it. But uh, this, I just wanna show you guys some of what I have. And here I have a large TV monitor. It's actually a TV but I use it as a monitor, which I plug my HDMI cable into. So when I'm filming, I can then see myself in the screen or if I'm doing big projects, we can clearly see what is going on. So just remember, there's a lot of key steps and factors that are very, very important before you even start a YouTube channel. Really ask yourselves those questions. You know, why do I want a YouTube channel? How am I gonna do it? And what is my content gonna be? And remember, that is a reflection of who you are and what you wanna do with it. because you can actually become very, very popular from doing it. And if it's something that is, you know, really relatable and, you know, brands might want to partner up with you and you can get sponsorship deals and you can just grow your channel organically. I mean, there's a lot that can happen for you on YouTube. You know, I use YouTube as a platform to share my information and as an extension of my brand. And YouTube really is what's made me who I am. I mean, it's, it's what has really gotten me this far and it's allowed me to, you know, work with companies and brands and to create content for them and do a lot of other things off YouTube that, is really amazing too. So I really hope this video was helpful to you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Again, if you, you know, you got something from this, if you have any questions and I would really, really love to hear from you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm almost at 500,000 subscribers on YouTube and I can't do it without you guys. So if you haven't yet, please do it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon.